Hi everyone. As you know, not too long ago, we all had a collective experience of catalyst and contrast relating to health, vaccines, control, and many other topics. In this particular participant session, Vagreen does discuss the participant's decision whether or not to have a vaccine, their fears about their health, and how to implement an aligned and balanced view on how to navigate these types of circumstances. Even though for many of us, this topic is at its conclusion, there are some areas of the world that this does continue to be an issue, and we don't know what will happen in the future when it comes to any catalyst that arises. So the information and the wisdom that is shared here on this clip can be applied to many, many subjects. Please remember to like and subscribe and to let me know what you think. Each and every being can only know their own path. They can only know their own heart. They can only know their own story, their own direction, their own past and future. Therefore, what you are being exposed to are the opinions or the beliefs that each and every other has chosen. So these are simply examples of what is available to you in the same way when you go into a shop, there are shirts of many different colors. You do not need to buy any of them if you choose not to. Right. You may take the time that you would like before you purchase. You may try them on. You may spend some time with them, but there is no authority that is greater than your own for any topic or any subject, even the ones that everyone believes themselves to be experts on, which because of the nature of this particular catalyst that you are all living on a global level at this point in time, everyone's suddenly an expert. Hmm. And absolutely no one knows. There are no experts on this subject. It is impossible because this particular subject is subjective as all subjects are the way to we will not use the word control but control would be the closest word the way to control your experience or to direct perhaps your experience is to choose it so an example may be you deciding to get the vaccine and knowing that it is the perfect protection against something that you would not like to have and knowing that it has no dire consequences and knowing that it is created by benevolent beings and holding all of those vibrations and frequencies within you as that will create the reality that you are vibrating at and that will create the experience. And if it does not, it will create the desired learning within your being so either mm. way you win or you do not participate and that is fine as well and all the beings around you suddenly understand that it is not necessary to pressure you and you are regardless protected from something that you do not want or the something that you do not want somehow vanishes spontaneously in the same way that it arrived. There is no truth because there is no reality. The reality is being created moment to moment, co-created as well, yes. Co-created on a grand scale, yes. But also co-created on an individual scale. So you get to choose your experience and choose your reality. And even the uninvited or what you believe to be uninvited aspects of your reality or of your experience are showing you, as we have discussed or revealing to you, new elements of yourself. They are helping you to expand. Even the fact that you have not been well has been helping you to expand in the directions that you want to expand in because without that, you would not be who you are. You cannot protect yourself from anything because there is nothing to protect yourself from. All is you, all is one.
the example that you gave of your maestro. Does not imply that he does not have that level of self-love. It implies that there is such a willingness or an acceptance of the what is as the self that no matter what arrives, it is loved. Mm. So loving oneself means arriving at such point that you know with complete faith that no matter what external circumstance brings to you, that you have the capacity to handle it, to exist with it or through it, and to absorb it as some element of yourself. Mm. The beings that truly love themselves know that there is no reason to protect themselves from anything. Because even if a, another being would arrive to them and threaten their lives and say, if you do not kill me, I will kill you. Then those enlightened beings, those who you can feel exude love, yeah. will happily lay down their lives as opposed to harm another. Because they have no fear. They have nothing to lose, even in losing their lives. They are so self-assured, so certain that everything that arrives to them is meant for them, that they can easily accept even what would be foremost unacceptable. Yeah. Hmm. Your fear is not yours. If it were, you would not register it as fear. The emotion or the sensation of fear is you telling yourself that you do not believe what is being proposed. So I hope you enjoyed that. And even though some topics that Vagrian does discuss can seem controversial or do have a lot of weight to them, the truth of the matter is, is any subject that they talk about or touch upon can be then applied to any other subject that we are facing. So I hope that you moving forward when facing any decisions or catalysts do hold the wisdom that it really is your choice as to how to react to existence, how to process the things that are occurring for you and to move forward with grace, ease and joy. All my love. Please remember to like and subscribe and leave me a comment if there's anything that you want to say. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks and take care.